Hey everybody, Jay Marino here. Welcome back. It's the Battle for Middle Earth 2. We're playing the Evil Campaign. It's an abrupt music shift. Yeah, we're going for Evil 3 Shire. I've got hard saves in between each mission here, so that's what we want to be loading up each time. I'm liking this game so far. It's definitely a shift from the first game where your army doesn't carry forward, but if that's not the case, uh, I kind of like the, the ability to interface with the macro mechanics quite a bit in this game. Long ago, a great goblin chief led an army into these lands known as the Shire. The defending hobbits killed the chief and routed the invaders. The Battle of Green Fields has not been forgotten by the goblins and their kind. Now their leader returns to the land of the hobbits with a determination to triumph where his ancestors failed. The scourge of the Shire begins. The hobbits of the Shire have caused our Dark Lord much trouble. Our domination of Eldor would not be complete without crushing this pocket of resistance. So let's zoom in at least a little bit. Well, hotkey, uh, what's your name? Gorkill? Let's also spend... Oh, no, never mind. We still can't spend our point. Looking forward to getting these, uh, these wild men eventually. I wonder if we got 10 points, if these would even become available to us. Uh, okay. Anywho. Uh, what do we have here? Just fully veterancy groups of goblins, it looks like. Yeah, sure, let's go. Just get in there. You're gonna be great. You're gonna do a great job. They called the scourging of the Shire. The epilogue to Lord of the Rings is there's a, a section called the scouring of the Shire, where Saruman and Wor Wormtongue show up and wreck some havoc. Which is kind of a a bittersweet ending to show that you know there's still this goofy conflict going on in the face of of victory. But uh, that was not in the films, which I think was probably for the for the best. I don't know. I, in a way, I would have liked to see it, but I feel like the tone of the ending of the film was. Very specific. Now, listen up. The hobbits have four governing seats of power. Destroy these buildings, and we quell whatever hope they might have for reprisal. Let's get to it! Destroy the four seats of power. Okay, let's go. I, I suspect we're not going to have much of an issue here. A right click, but then you left click to use the global powers. Got to remember this. We could tank with Gorkill. He can also mow down... These enemies. Is this... Uh, oh, these are... These are friends. You love to see that. I was gonna say, I suspect that we're not gonna be having a huge issue killing hobbits. It seems like they go down pretty fast. One of four seats of power. Reach the East Farthling. Okay. Well, let's just, let's just go around and destroy these seats of power and then we'll figure it out. This may be where we're supposed to go. Maybe we can set up a base. Keep chasing these hobbits down. It's possible that elves or dwarves may come to their assistance. Okay, we want to build a fortress. That's the bottom here. Yeah, sure, go for it. Maybe, like, closer to the left. And... Yeah, let's just keep pushing down in this direction and see what we can find. I did turn the music up even more, but at this point, there's just no music currently playing. Where the heck? Oh. Okay, well, that, that explains where the challenge may come from, because the Dunedain are attacking us. So there's just like, these Dunedain rangers seem pretty equivalent to Athelian rangers. Maybe I'm off with that. I was trying to get our hero just walk, just walk right up there and go for the trebuchet. Okay, fortress is done. Dunedain have been destroyed. I think that just counted as finishing. So let's go ahead and start setting up some some of these uh, tunnels. Again, and we don't want them to overlap as much as possible. You want that 
I guess as long as it's in the green, I feel pretty good about it. But for now, let's just let's get our goblin cave as well pretty early. So I think the Dunedain are gone already. Like, it's just that easy. Defeat all Dunedain. Can I now get the Dunlin? Can I get the Dunlin uh, special power? Yes, I can. Let's go for it. Now we can get some extra guys. I assume they're temporary. So these guys are good long-range siege weapon weapons, but they also can kill us. We could just do the close-range attacks on those. Okay, there's more, there's more Dunedain. Just something to keep in mind. So can we make those lumber mills now too? I'd like to see Fissure, Spider Pit, Goblin Cave. Harvest resources from nearby trees. Like, does this interfere with the income that we get from the, the tunnels? I wonder. I don't know. There's a lot of little things here. I'm going to guess no. It looks like we actually lost a worker. Um, I mean, we can just keep moving up here and building caves. Like, look at that. There was a I saw a fatty hundred up there. Let's go. I, see, I kind of like these guys as as melee, because they can absorb so much heat, and it seems like they would probably need pikemen to take them down. Is that this right here? Let's just, g give me a moment, we're gonna actually, we need to build some more units. Let's just go ahead and upgrade some of these structures that we're making. Orc laborer. Yeah, I, get, I think this is just extra, extra income on top of what we've already got. Sentry tower, I guess we'll get that fissure. And like what I could do, when you, it doesn't seem like any enemies would be coming from up in this direction, so we could just keep throwing down caves. Up there. Adds defensive tower, I don't think we need to worry about. Let's just get two more groups of archers, get more caves. It's like, are there not enough trees for these guys to be working? For them all to be working? Maybe that wasn't the best place to, to set this up. Destroy the green dragon. Uh, slaying the, the Killing the Dunedain is required. Upgrade the fissure. Let's get our treasure trove as well. Let's see if we can get more supply. 650. Okay, yeah, yeah. So just keep making these caves. Honestly, like, I'll settle for yellow as well. That's perfectly fine. I'm not sure if that reduces the income from the others as well. Might as well throw this down. It might That might not be permanent anymore in this game. So people were saying that uh, in the first game it wasn't permanent, but it, it definitely is. No other heroes. Um, so maybe they were thinking of the second game here where it's not uh, a permanent. Faster build speed and adds defense. You know what? Yeah, let's do it. Then... Yeah, we can get up to 700. Let's keep pushing upwards. Looks like they're only going to attack us from the upper left. So a big part of this is figuring out where you could possibly set up more income structures. So like, I guess we can get another lumber mill down here when we can afford it too. I'm not sure if that's paying for itself. 370, okay. Okay, we have banner carriers. We're getting our upgrade to level two so that we can get scavenged armor and all that garbage. So what can we make here? Mountain giants, cave trolls. Like the cave troll rock throw, I feel like is better than the, like the mountain giants might be better. I'm not really sure. Also, it doesn't seem like it, it seems like the the Dunedain are all ranged and don't have any cavalry, which means we don't need any of the half troll marauders. I don't think. Keep going with that, and we can make a spider pit this time too. Like, again, we should probably take some time here to. Uh, we should take some time here to actually learn what the rest of our tech tree can do. Again, I, I think we have to mix in these lumber mills. It seems like it's the, it makes the most sense to me. And we should just save our money, and then eventually we could spam out more units. Maybe 700's our cap right now. See, they cut the trees down, and then they just sort of stand there. But I can't tell them to harvest from that tree. I'm not really sure. In any case, I don't think this mission's meant to be particularly difficult. I guess the Dunedain are the, the bigger issue. 
We do lumber mills here too. Again, the bigger the bigger issue is the supply. Like lumber mills cost supply because it comes with five five laborers, which is five supply. Which is, I mean, it's not the it's not a big issue in the grand scheme, but even still. Um, again, we probably want to throw some trolls in there. Let's just keep getting our upgrades from the treasure trove. We're low on resources. We just lost a builder. Find another yeah, the Dunedain are attacking from up in this direction. Are we being attacked? Yes. Okay. So there's Dunedain up here. Let's uh, let's just take our army and move up there. We can also build a sentry tower. I'm not really sure if that's going to help, but we could throw it down right there. Yeah, see, honestly, I think these guys on melee, like, it, it covers the rest of my units. And I think they can just trample stuff, too. Yes, they can. Yeah, these basically seem like Athelian Rangers. As long as my hero's fine for now, then I'm I'm perfectly happy to just keep casually getting what we're getting. We'll upgrade our, our goblins as time goes on and give them uh, banner carriers. Which is automatic level 2. Is that still level 2 in this game, or is that like you're still level 1, but you have a banner carrier type thing? We'll find out. But yeah, I'm very, very happy. I think these guys are... Yeah, I I'm thinking, like, we use the Mountain Giants for, for melee, because I had noticed previously when we had them, they had a melee option, and the the rock throw damages our own units. So it wasn't necessarily for the best. See, like, these guys aren't really... I mean, can I even... I don't think I can trade them in or anything like that. Uh, I'd like to get a couple tr cave trolls. They can throw rocks. I'm perfectly happy with that. And then I lost a worker somewhere, but that's perfectly fine. Let's get a spider pit just to see what we can make out of it. I'm going to guess it's spiders. <laughs> okay, it is. You do get up to plus two. Fire arrows. That's all good. We're getting some of our units back in these squads. The Dunland Lords? What can you do? Pillage. Steal resources whenever dealing damage. Upgrade with torches. Yeah, sure. That's perfectly fine. It looks like I can't build them, but I can summon them in. But they're typically, usually in that, in those circumstances, they are, uh... Yeah, we're gonna have the trolls on, on rock throwing mode, but then the mountain giants are gonna be melee. Because they're not getting, they're not getting focused down. Oh yeah, this is this is good. And then the trolls will throw the rocks, which I don't think are as likely to do as much damage to my own stuff. Pick up goblin. I assume that's more damage than rocks if I had to guess. Any other upgrades to get? Goblin spider riders and spider lings. I don't want spider lings, I want spider riders. Again, let's take this opportunity to like mess around and see what we can build. Seems like our income is fine here. It seems fine. Poison Stinger can only target, can only use when mounted. Target enemy unit takes poison damage during 25 seconds. So we can use that against uh, other enemy heroes, I suppose. Uh, I don't think I can make any other, um, I don't think I can make any more of these in order to get more command points. I don't think. Spider Pit. 72 points. That's particular. That's a, a strange amount, but I'll go ahead and build them. And then further, we can use the rest of our money. To upgrade our... Uh, our ground units here. I don't think these guys can get anything. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we don't want them throwing rocks. We will. Just give it a rest. We're gonna, we're gonna kill them. Don't worry. Fire arrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. And what did we build here? Spiderlings. We can make them be ranged also. I think that's not necessary. Let's go ahead and get forge blades for them, though. Venom sacks. But they need to be level 3. Interesting. So there are individual squads that you can upgrade like that. So the real the real enemy here is the Dunedain, not the Hobbits. Which I guess is a prob it's probably what I expected. 
And these guys are faster than I expected them to be. I think, I think, unless the hobbits, uh, unless there are, I'm gonna, it must be pikemen. Like, I would expect, I expected these to be like Mumakill, where they could trample stuff, but would get focused down by fire arrows really quickly. It doesn't seem like the Dunedain are able to do much damage to them. So unless we see enemy pikemen, it must be pikemen, then I think that these mountain giants are in great shape to be our forward tankers. Oh my. Uh, well, I don't have any free, uh... I mean, I don't, have, I don't have any free supply points. I guess what I should have done was uh, set up these. What do burrows do? Connects this fortress to the tunnel network. Giant sentries. That sounds nice. You know what? If you want to just go ahead and kill my, uh... My laborers, I'm really not going to be sad about that. Mountain Giant, get over there to this treb. The Dunedain have been destroyed. Okay, so they must have just had a limited number of them on the map, and they just all steadily made their way over to come and attack us. Just attack into the trebuchets. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Will this auto-repair? Slowly over time, I wonder. Seems like you definitely need melee units to kill trebuchets. Or siege weaponry in general. Do we have any other side missions to do? Destroy the green dragon and we're still looking for where that is. It's probably right over here. Anyway, if that's all the Dunedain, that means that we're really not in danger of being attacked anymore. So let's just go ahead and move in. And we have to find the... I think this is the, the thing that they were talking about. Gotta remember that we got... Plenty of passives to use. Not even passives, but... Actives. Global powers, if you will. Yes, these guys are indeed... Um, timed. There we go. We destroyed the inn. Did we get credit for destroying the inn? No, we did not. Was that not the inn? Is this the inn? No. Never mind. So this is a very easy mission, arguably easier than the last one. I, I mean, the Dunedain attacks, I guess, were a little spooky, but there, there's only a certain number of them. See, the the splash damage done by the, the the trolls throwing rocks is way less, way, way, way less than the mountain giants, and it, they, I think they're a little more accurate, too. So I think we stick with... Trolls throw rocks, mountain giants are our frontline support units. Especially if we can get them leveled up, that would be cool. I'd love it if, you know, we could take this opportunity also, since this seems like it's a shorter map, to explore what some of these later powers are. So let's see, Spiderlings. I mean, it seems very similar to the Wildmen, except it's more points. So I don't know how I feel about that. And plus, it's on the edge. We want to capitalize on some of these down here. Summons a defensive tower garrisoned with archers. And we could just plop that anywhere, because that's cool. And then we can upgrade it with fire arrows. Darkness is very good. Allied hordes gain extra damage, armor, and earn experience faster. Monsters, same thing. That's actually really... I, I mean, I think we might want to go for that. Devastation is also a really good start. The issue with this, it's instant resources, but then you can't put lumber mills down to harvest from those trees. Cast on a lair to gain control of the lair and associated creatures. This is a cool idea. Um, I don't think we've seen any lairs around that we would have taken, you know? Okay, well, yes, let's roast, uh, let's roast this little suburb here. Finally, we've destroyed that hobbit hole back end. <laughs> it's unclear what we're getting for doing these side quests, but it's, you know, it's, it is, it's, it's what it is, that's fine. I'm liking this composition so far. The spiderlings, not the spiderlings, but the, uh, ouch, um, the, um, The, the spider knights, or spider riders, actually seem pretty neat. Come on, hit him. Okay, I think... I, I think that's it, though. We're being informed that something else is happening. What? What are they doing here? I want to extend my gratitude, oh 
great king for clearing the Shire of the Middlesome Dunaday. Kill Wormtongue. I think we can handle that, though. He might be building his own his own base here. The Shire is mine! Get rid of him! What are you looking at? Kill the intruders! Web Cocoon. Equips your arrow dens with fire arrows. Continuously damages enemy units adjacent to the fortress. I like that, too. Um, we could go ahead and snack some more units if we want. No, we can't. No, it's just our... our our, our typical units were uh, were just... Oh, I don't know what that... Oh, we have to destroy the whole fortress. I like the infighting here. Um, let's just wait for our units to make their way down here. Let's go ahead and scope out what they're doing. I think we really, we really want to get going now, like as soon as possible. So let's get in there. We might have to rebuild some of these units. I really enjoy how how Isengard they didn't they haven't like gone rogue per se but they're just they really want to get in here and do this themselves. Let's do this. This might be bad for us. I mean they're technically enemies. Let's say the, if they have pikemen here then that's no good for us. So we're like really hemorrhaging units now. We can use darkness allied hordes. So specifically not Isengard, I, su I suspect. Okay, well, all we can really do now is make a few more units. Let's go ahead and just get some... Let's get some more spider riders, and we can remake our archers, though our, I think our archers are doing okay. Goblin carrion. Get rid of the Murakai. Okay, I don't have any other... I don't have any other, uh, anything that does, like, uh, good damage to buildings. I think we've killed a lot of their, um, a lot of their stuff, though. Let's back these archers up, because we don't, we don't need more of those. King got roasted, that's fine. Again, we're going to get some more. Well, now they have, I saw, I mean, it's, um, Isengard. They have more... Pikeman is what I'm thinking, so we have to be careful. Let's go ahead and resummon Gorkill. It's not what I wanted to have happen. I, I asked these guys... What are you doing? I'm telling them to go across the bridge, but, you know, sometimes... Sometimes they're not going to do what I want them to do. Forge Blades, Banner Carrier. It's possible that these... Uh, These fellas aren't going to really be able to do it for me. Let's uh, throw rocks. Got some wargs in here. That's perfectly fine. Let them come into the fortress where I have uh, these trolls that are throwing rocks that are just going to absolutely roast them. You, again, we want close range attack once these uh, pikemen are gone. Struggling to collect my thoughts a little bit on this one, but I think I've, I think I've got it under control now. Get some more archers. You go melee. Get another troll to throw rocks. I think just like that, we're fine. We're just going to wait for our hero to come back. Requires dragon nest monument. How do we get a dragon nest monument? Or kill is back. What we really need are things that can destroy structures quickly, which are going to be our trolls, which are going to be our mountain giants. So maybe we want to get another fissure. You know, we got plenty of money. Yeah, that does take us straight to level two. Gorkill, why don't we go ahead and mount you, and we'll get that skull totem. But we only use that skull totem when we go to all of our. Uh, I like how they can destroy the bats now, too. Let's see if we can actually get across this bridge. I forgot what I was going to say. A lot of our supply is, is back up to snuff, so we should be good to go. Just want to make sure that we're also continuously getting upgrades here.
lot of tools at our disposal. I just have to use them all. Like, for example, we want to make sure that we use those tipped, uh, those poison tipped whatevers. Yeah, no, that's melee, that's melee, that's fine. So, these guys, what are you? Stomp, powerful attack that causes impact damage, and meta impact? That's exciting. We gotta get in there and finally kill these, uh, Ballista. Spider Riders, this is what, yes, we gotta get rid of these Ballista. Units, uh, oh, it's Worm Tongue right there, too, so let's see if we can get rid of him quickly. Put down the totem. Okay, Worm Tongue is dead, and then we have to steadily get rid of this stuff. Honestly, now we're gonna put you guys back on uh, throwing rocks, because it's all these, uh, it's these pikemen in porcupine formation, so we've gotta, I mean, they're gonna kill my spider riders pretty quick, I think. But they don't really do that much other damage. Gorkill's gonna go down again, I think it's perfectly fine. We're gonna go melee on these fellas and run them in to maybe go and kill that, uh, kill these ballista. Then, we'll build more spider riders, more archers, the typical stuff, trolls. And yeah, these guys, they seem like they're just standing still. Good work. Now they're moving in towards our, our giants. Uh, maybe our... Uh... <laughs> I was going to say, maybe we could protect them for long enough to live. The rest of our units are coming out now. This is fine. This is not how I expected this mission to go. Isengard having way more tools to be able to roast us. Man, those uh, those squads last a long time, don't they? Could do this. Dude, the accuracy on these guys now seems better than it was. To kill, just kill, kill this, please. There we go. Okay. So I think we've done it. A lot of our army was countered pretty heavily by the, uh... By the pikemen. The rocks. Get all of these. Honestly, uh, let's build some spiderlings just to kind of see what they can do. And we can build some more mountain giants because the two that we've had have done a great job. I'm just going to tab through these and see if any of these units don't have the upgrades that I need them to have. Forge Blades. Their fortress is over here. I mean, these guys are going to run out of time, so we can just run them up there. We can also use the bats. Oh, it's down here. Well, we just have to destroy the fortress, so we could just wander down there. I mean, we actually know. We want to kill as much as possible so we can maximize the amount of points we get. I will use darkness. We'll tank this ground right there. I think just taking a bunch of friendly fire is, is the price we are going to pay. Also, there were neutral buildings, and I wasn't sure. There was one, like, back here, too, that I just completely ended up not getting because I was getting killed by the Dunedain. It's a farm. I think we would have just gotten resources from it. Get them, Spiderlings. The Spiderlings can get a banner carrier. That's very cute. Let's go ahead and see what this is. It looks like we're actually capped on the number of powers we, can have, we could have gotten from this level. I'm kind of curious what this is. It won't tell me what it can do. We have the building. We have the building now. Signal fire. Capture it to decrease recharge times for unused powers. Heals nearby heroes and flyers. One signal fire is the reduction of spellbook reload time. So global powers come back faster. That's actually quite nice. So 
again, I think we. I wanna. I wanna keep the 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 idea of using the melee. Are these wards? I wanna. I wanna keep that kind of in my back pocket, like. Uh, Putting the mountain giants on melee seems very, very strong if you're against, like, mass infantry. They're not countered by archers. They're, they are countered by the pikemen, though. I really doubt we're going to be fighting much of Isengard. Once more, Sauron's warriors stand triumphant. Goblin invasion appears to be unstoppable. You'll pay for this, you bullies! Now hobbits and elves alike have been crushed and scattered throughout the lands. Okay. Well, we had to rebuild our army twice for the, the Isengard section. I definitely did not expect that to happen. But at the same time, the Hobbit part, the Shire part, was, like, really easy. So I don't know what I thought uh, was going to happen. Uh, it, it had to have gotten harder somehow, I suppose. Anyway, uh, interesting mission, that's for sure. Again, still getting the handle of the faction. We're getting a, a few new tools every mission. So upgrade our fortress and actually put fortifications on the fortress. And we want the fortress to be as close to where we expect the enemies to come from as possible because that's where the majority of our defenses are put without having to build separate towers. And then behind that, if you have open land, you want to put down caves and lumber mills. You need more, tree, more than just a couple trees to justify a lumber mill from what I can tell. Um... Otherwise, it seems worthwhile to upgrade your army-producing structures early and then just start getting those units out um, and then rely on the defense of your, your fortress. So, again, we kind of floundered a bit, or I floundered a bit on this mission, but it's all in the spirit of learning what the heck we're doing. Now, these campaigns are a lot shorter. We've only got eight missions, and we're already up to... It looks like we're coming up to, to Fornost here, which is uh, the fourth mission. So we're going to be about halfway through, but... Again, we're, we're getting the hang of things. I'm understanding more. You know, we're trying out the, the ranged versus melee options for our uh, for our, our our mountain giants and our trolls as well and kind of getting an idea of, you know, what works and what doesn't. And it does seem like those mountain giants uh, in melee mode is very, very good so long as they're not being directly countered by a pike unit of some kind. Now, I recognize the Isengard pikemen, but, like, if there's elf or dwarf pikemen... I'm not going to know what those units... I mean, obviously, if they have long pikes, I will know. But, like, Soldiers of Rune were a good example from the first game where it wasn't clear that the, that counted as, like, a pike unit that could be in porcupine formation, etc., etc. But anyway, we'll keep our eye out, and uh, I'm just trying to get a sense of what what's really strong and what is, you know, decent. And we're going to try to keep units alive throughout the whole mission so that we can use the, the veterancy system to our advantage, even though our, our army doesn't carry across multiple multiple missions. But I am liking this quite a bit. Like I said at the beginning, it seems like I can interface a lot more with the macro mechanics. You have a lot more freedom and not having to build on those plots like uh, like a Halo Wars type situation. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty neat. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.